Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It is almost midnight <clears throat> on October 22nd, 2014. And as you can tell, I'm struggling with my voice again. Um, so anyway, instead of me reading this to you, I want you to please pause the video, read this little disclaimer, and then uh, once you've done that, we'll get on to it. Okay, I guess you've read it. Let's take a look. First thing is the <clears throat> top line of our consolidation area right here, drawn over one, two, <clears throat> three tops, is right where we met resistance today. Um, <clears throat> we have this bottom line that could give us some support tomorrow if if we come down and test it. Additionally, <clears throat> the other thing I want to let you know is this does look like an inverted head and shoulders pattern with a target of about 1978. Now you'll notice that one thing is different on this chart and I cannot find a support line in this mess that really looks good to me. I, I think this is pretty good for our resistance, but if I make that parallel, then, well, that doesn't really work because we got stuff underneath it here. We got this little strange thing going on there. If I go here, well, maybe that's what it is, but to be honest with you, that looks a bit odd because why would we come up, tag this, and then never come down to it again uh, until potentially sometime after tomorrow or later? <clears throat> that looks a little bit odd to me. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that because we know that the S&P likes to make these parallel channels. So with that in mind, that's about the only place I know where to put it. In your own chart, feel free to put it wherever you want to. I just don't have a, <clears throat> a real solid feel about where it should go. Now, <clears throat> if this does act as an inverse head and shoulders... Um, the story is, is that you buy either on a return to the neckline or on a return to the line drawn from the bottom of the head to the, through the bottom of the, um, right shoulder. And that would have meant you would have bought kind of up here near the top. So I don't think that's, that's a, a, a particularly helpful thing to us. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this parallel line here. Um, also, sometimes we know this is now likely the end of the breakout move. Sometimes you'll get a 40% retracement from the uh, bottom of the right shoulder. Come on the top of the breakout move if that is the case then we got a little bit further to go but all of this really to say um, despite the weakness today it it's it's certainly good to see that the S&P is now back in between these two lines it will feel even better if we get a bounce tomorrow and we do not break 1920 that would be really good. Now, if we look at things on a two-minute chart, and we try to try to maybe want to try to get cute with this, let's go ahead and extend that on out a bit. Um, I think we could probably say, once we get over that little gray line right there, we are probably uh, gonna we we should head back to test this green line again. And interesting to note, here is a situation where we pretty much have, not exactly, but pretty much have uh, a descending channel. 
As a matter of fact, if you'll look closely, you could see that during the middle of the day, that channel actually had a little bit of a wedge shape to it up until the point that we broke up over that today. And interesting to note, as luck would have it, I say that with quotes with my fingers, as luck would have it, we've come down uh, to to really back test this line. So maybe this is what's going on. We will know, however, um, if if and when we rally over this top line right here. So in other words, we may have just come up and then consolidated down in a pennant, a descending wedge pennant, broke out of that, found a little parallel resistance, then came back down to back test this line right here. We'll know more tomorrow if that's a viable idea or not. This is a a very small pattern and, and you know these the smaller the pattern the more uh, easily a news item can upset the apple cart. So let's just let's just maybe keep this in mind keep it on the chart just as a very very short-term indicator. So guys there you have it um, Looking for a target now with this inverted head and shoulders uh, of about 1978. And depending upon what happens between now and then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we could have an even more interesting situation when we start to consider what we see currently on this screen. And I think you know what I'm talking about? Yes. But I won't say it until it's more ripe this time. You just do your homework and you look at this and you read my mind as to what we could potentially be looking at here. Hint, bears will not like it. So look guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you putting up with my voice. Thank you for putting up with this being late. And uh, let's see what tomorrow brings us. Take care.